Hello everyone, welcome to Java Sessions. If you're new here, please subscribe, leave a like, and if you have any questions about what's happening in the video, please do feel free to ask in the comment sections. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Okay, so in this tutorial video, I will be showing you guys how to create and compile a sorting algorithm. So the sorting algorithm we're going to write is a quick sorting algorithm, which is also known as a divide and conquer algorithm. Oh, by the way, what I mean by sorting algorithm, I mean an algorithm that will take a set of integers in an array that maybe are placed in a random manner. Maybe you have 10 and then you have three and then you have five. But after I plug that array of integers in the, in the quick sort method, what will happen is that it will take those those integers and place them in such a manner that they'll, they'll be ascending like from the minimum integer in that way to the maximum integer in that way if you don't understand you will see as i code that project so um okay like i said the the sorting algorithm i will be using in this tutorial video is the quick sorting algorithm which is also known as a divide and conquer algorithm what that means is that i'll it will create two empty arrays to hold elements less than the pivot value and the element greater than the pivot value. By the way, by the pivot value, what I mean is that a value within that array of integers that will have elements in its left side being less than it and elements in its right side being greater than it. So what will happen is that I'll be choosing pivots over and over recursively like i'll be calling that function recursively till i have an ascending manner um okay enough talking let me get started with coding so let's go to create project what you going to call this project let's call it um quick sorting quick quick Sorting. Okay. Now let's uh, pause finish. You will see this is actually simple. At start, you will see that because since I will be introducing many, many times that maybe most of you guys are not familiar with aka arrays, um, recursion. Uh, by the way, Google recursion. You will see what Google says about recursion. Like this, this, this uh joke the developers said Google make about made about recursion. <laughs> Find find it actually explains recursion because it will be like, did you mean recursion? And then you press yeah, I meant recursion. Till you understand what recursion is. So yeah, recursion just calling a function over and over till a specific. When a function calls itself over and over till a specific condition is met, that's what recursion is basically. So that's what also quick sorting algorithm is based on recursion. Okay, enough talking. Let me just create uh let me create the quick let me just call it um q sorting class q sorting class and then uh, manually create the main method okay so in this class i will be creating two extra methods besides the main method the first method will be the swapping method, which I will be be using to swap integers in the array, so that you know the array can be arranged in a manner that you want it to be arranged in. So I will need a, a method for that, which I will call swap. And then the next method will be the method that will actually be doing the swap, the, the the sorting, like the method that will be checking which integers need to be sorted. The method that will be checking what is the period in that that um in that way that will be sitting in the in the method so um okay let's start with the swapping method let's call it private static void swap and then we're going to have two i mean three parameters which will be the away and then the x value and then the y value x value i mean the values that we're going to change in our way so yeah 
that's what i mean by x and y value you can name them anything the j value and the k value or the x value and then the p it's up to you whatever you name them just know that you will they will be representing the values that needs to be sub swapped around each other so let's uh let's do that first let's create an integer away as a parameter in that method and then next we create the minimum value for that will represent that way actually i said in swap you're just going to call them x and y because you can literally swap anything it doesn't need to be minimum or maximum just swapping so what you're going to do we're going to need a placeholder for the x value for the x away value so that when we put the y value in the x value we don't lose it forever we know where we found it so that when you're going to put the y value when you're going to put the x value in the y value this is safe for you so let's call it this uh, temp x value which we're going to equate to away x and then next what you're going to do is uh now since we placed x safely under the temp x i mean the value of the way or where x is as we kept it safe here now we just have to replace x with the y value that will be x is equals to uh, y okay now that we just done that we can now put the x value in the y value and we do have it here we call it temp x which was the temporary x value Maybe I'm over explaining this, you guys. I'm pretty sure you guys get it now. So let's just say array y is equal to temp x. Okay. So we are done with our swapping with our swapping method. The next thing we're going we're going to need to do is create the quick sorting method. Okay, now let's get on to that. We're also going to name it. We're going to give it the private static void what will name this method is quick sorting quick sort which will have the same parameters as the swap method um int by the way in case you're wondering about these two buckets they do mean a way i did explain them in one of my first videos which are actually this is my second video where i showed you guys how to create and compile a java program without an ide so yeah do find information about that over there um okay like i said in in the quick sorting method we're going to have a low actually let's call it the minimum value of the array and then the maximum value index that is okay now the next step what we're going to do is make sure that the array is not empty in order to verify that we're going to need to write an if statement so it will be if the array is equal to now by the way in, in an if statement we don't we don't use this in order to check something is equal to another thing we don't use one equal sign we use two equal sign or array or the length of away is equal to zero these two lines means or oh, by the way if i said and it will mean if array is equal to not and away is the length of the away is equal to zero but then we are checking either in case one of them is wrong then we have to close this method return meaning that we are closing this method and also we need to verify that the minimum value is not equal to or greater than the maximum value if that's the case we are also closing the method if mean value is greater or equal to max value we're closing the method okay so our next step now is to create is to find the pivot in order to find the pivot we will need to make it the middle index of the array like the middle number in that array we're going to make it the pivot so yeah okay but you can choose the pivot to be absolutely anything in the array it's not doesn't necessarily need to be the middle one it's just that it, the the algorithm works better if you make it uh, if you if you make it the middle index 
so first let's find the middle index which we're going to say the middle will be equal to the minimum value plus the maximum value minus the minimum value divided by two that will give us the middle index and then we just say int pivot will be equal to away at middle okay we just found our pivot oh i didn't name that because by the way in java caps java is cap sensitive so caps are very important you can't just have middle with a cap if you chat with the capital m and then there you didn't write the middle with the capital m it will it will be an error so okay now let's uh let's create a while loop oh wait first we create a while loop let's create uh, let's create the placeholders for the minimum value and the maximum value you know to do that let's create them as i which should be equal to mean and then max which should be equal to j ah oh, no man i meant j we should be equal to max not the other way around my bad over there okay and then now we can create a while loop while the minimum value is less or equal to the maximum value now we need to make sure that the left side of the pivot is less than the pivot and in order to do that we're going to say while away hit i is less than pivot increment increment the away also now we have to make sure the right side is greater than the pivot and in order to do that while away is greater than pivot we can say j minus minus so that will make sure that the, the right side of the away is greater than the pivot okay now we need to check the arrays and then we do performing we perform the swap remember this uh this method we just created over here now let's utilize it now we check if i is less than j or equal to j now let's swap those values this is after we made sure that they were the left side is lower than the pivot and the right side is greater than the pivot and in order to do that what we just do we just plug in swap plug the away and then put in i and j just like that and then we increment i and decrement j okay we are done under this while loop i think okay yeah we are done now all we have to do is perform recursion to make sure that if I mean remember here we just manipulated i and j the placeholders of minimum and maximum value now we need to make sure that works so you need to check if minimum value the original minimum value is less than copy of the maximum value we perform some recursion calling a method on itself i j perfection and we do the same with maximum also is next is uh greater than wait 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 i think i might have made a mistake okay no i didn't make a mistake if max is greater than i just a quick sort i a quick sort name i max yeah i did make a mistake i was right here was supposed to be mean not i we actually mean moment j not i and j so yeah don't forget the semicolon so we are done with our quick sorting algorithm next thing we need to do is create that integer the way of integers we are trying to sort and uh, and just display that's 
basically what we need to do and you can now let's create the array of integers oh, oh, no man. let's go ahead now let's go to new integer that's how you create an integer of arrays by the way not int don't do this please don't do this what i'm doing right now never do that never use int use integer because int is a primitive data value primitive i mean a non -prim a primitive data value i mean a primitive data value cannot have always also remember a string is a non-primitive data value that's why you can have always and in order to get create arrays of integers use the keyword integer which is a, which is a class of integers so you can never create a ways with with a primitive data type like a double or int you can never do that so after we have done now oh, we are not done creating that way yet now we have to put in the values that we need to sort i just want them to put in any integers no need to place them in an order so it's up to you what which integers you're going to put which i'm just randomly inserted any integer that came to my mind and now the next step is to uh show that we need to show that the this thing the quick the quick uh quick sort algorithm works and in order to check that let's display the uh the the integers i mean let's display the array first before i mean let's display the array before we sort it and then we display the array after we sort it now in order to do that let's just say system dot out out to print line which you see uh, this will be unsorted away is equals to box now in order to display arrays as a string we just need to invoke the method to call the class of arrays to string uh, that will work perfectly fine okay thank god and now let's uh let's sort the let's sort the integers and then uh, sort uh and uh, the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is the length of the array minus one and now let's display it and see what that will show not print line Ah, always. Always dot to string. Okay. Wait, I forgot. Let's just say here. There's sorted away. Okay fingers crossed this works perfectly fine i didn't <laughs> i didn't compile this thing i just would i just would the uh, the algorithm from my literally let's just see there are huge chances that this thing won't compile or we will get an error but i hope you don't ah oh, it didn't perfection see this is the unsorted array which is 5 234 64 blah 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 this is the good array works in a ascending manner starting from the minimum value which is 4 and then goes to 5 and then 24 34 34 67 67 66 76 77 234 this is this is perfection i like this okay so yeah we are done if you have any questions about what i have done here please do ask maybe i was too fast for you please do ask in the comment section i'll be more than happy to explain anything that, that happened in this algorithm okay ladies and gentlemen we are done thank you for watching please subscribe leave a like and stay tuned for more amazing java content